Kilo Giannis. No, Martin. Yeah, Martin to take the draw against Luca Romano. And we are underway here. Semi-finals between the Junior Canadians and the Waterloo Wolves. And the face-off is controlled by the Wolves. They send it down ice. It's going to be Nico Armelin in net for the Junior Canadians. And here comes Malkazian. Tries a centering shot. A lot of traffic in front. And here comes Martin the other way. And it will be for the Wolves, Reed Strauss in net. So Strauss versus Armelin here for the goaltending matchup. And play is called offside on Jake O'Brien. Last start, you want to have sustained offensive zone pressure, uh, really take it to the other team and start uh, getting some shots on goal, as simple and cliche as it sounds. It's cliche because it's true. As the puck is behind the Wolves net. And it goes all the way down the Junior Canadian zone. Valeris trying to get out of his own zone. Helped by Jin Man. Jin Man trying to find an open man here. Just tied up along the boards, and here's Valeris. Gets through the offensive zone. Puck is in the corner, and the Wolves regain possession. Sent for Luke Schofield, just out of his reach. And the Wolves will try again here, this time. Strauss. And the tumble there by Jack Gardner. Luckily, the Canadians couldn't capitalize on that. And here comes Josh Frey the other way with support from McCloskey. Shot gets tipped off. And here come the Junior Canadians, one on four. And Addy's completely tied up there. Martin taking down Graziano in the neutral zone. Both teams try to get some offensive chances here. Levine with it at the point. And scores! A tip in front there. And it looks like it's going to go to the captain, Jake O'Brien. Yeah, some nice puck moving in the offensive zone by the Junior Canadians. Back up. Jake O'Brien draws first blood. Here at the semifinals of the OHL Cup. The Wolves will look to answer quickly. Gerber flips it past the defense. And here's Martin with it. But it's taken back. The Junior Canadians will ring it around the boards. We get another whistle here. Now the key here for Waterloo is that they have to respond a little bit quickly here, you know, to put pressure on the Junior Canadians defense, uh, really get some sustained offensive zone time. And this is this will be a great start with an offensive zone face off. Yeah, Strauss had no chance with that tip from Jake O'Brien. It went complete. It was a complete redirection there. And the Junior Canadians lead one nothing here at the semifinals. Both teams looking to punch their tickets to the OHL Cup Finals at the Madame Athletic Center, as Solomon has it. Black gives it to Siloyanis. Back to Solomon. The puck is now behind Nico Armelin. 
Solomon gets it back, passes it to Silo Giannis. Solomon again, little give and go. Rings the puck around the boards. Solomon holds the line there. Good kick save from him to keep this offensive zone time going. As his teammates go for a change. A centering pass in front doesn't connect with Gerber. And the puck comes out. Here's Martin with it, a shot, but a good block there. And another good block there from Xander Valeris. And here come the junior Canadians the other way. Three on three with speed. And the puck goes in the corner. Here's Valeris with it. But he gives it up and here comes Henderson the other way with a head of steam. Henderson gets it back. Gives it to Darrigan. Darrigan shot, but it's tipped. It's blocked by traffic. And here comes Nico Addy the other way. One on three. Nico Addy gets it right back on the four check. And a back, quick backhand there, but Strauss was quick to save that. There's Malkazian cutting through, dancing around some players and rings the puck around the boards. Just under nine minutes to go here in the first period. The junior Canadians leading this game so far one to nothing with a tip in goal from Jake O'Brien. And McLean throws that on net and it's gloved down and chip here at the OHL Cup. Shot there in front and a good save there from Nico Armelin. That entire play was started by Reese McCloskey in his own end, taking the puck all the way up the ice. And the junior Canadians come back the other way, but thwarted by the defense of the Waterloo Wolves. Puck is given to Frey here. Frey looking to pass and it doesn't connect another shot and a good glove save there from Nico Armand. Both players had hat tricks this morning we'll see if that momentum carries through over to the semifinals that are being played right now here's Martin in the corner with it looking to center it he, tr he almost connects there with Sam Black Shot from Solomon and another good save there from Armelin. Yeah, and the Wolves get a couple of good scoring chances in the offensive zone and it all starts with the play of Brady Martin along the boards, just protecting and shielding the puck from players as he's being checked, uh, managing to escape pressure, getting open and trying to feed teammates in the slot. Eight goals in the tournament for Brady Martin. That's tied for most in the OHL Cup so far. 12 points. He's been such a force for the Wolves. With 719 here to go in the first period. The junior Canadians leading this game one to nothing. The puck is thrown behind the net of the junior Canadians. Malkasian has it. Michael Levine tries to get it to a teammate. And McLean will try something else. Finally, the junior Canadians get out. And there goes Jake O'Brien showing off his speed, supported with by Malkazian here behind the net. Big hit there in the corner, and it looks like we're going to get our first penalty of the semifinals here. Junior Canadians have the extra attacker out now. Valeris at the point. But Martin forces him out of the zone. And here's Graziano. And 
Luca Morano will take the draw with Valeris quarterbacking this power play unit. Pass is broken up and junior Canadians have to regroup here. This is a crucial penalty here for both teams. A shot and, <laughs> and a bunch of players in front. And Reed Strauss manages to glove that down. Yeah, that was a nice little sequence from Reed Strauss, just uh, remaining calm, keeping tight to his post, and not allowing many secondary chances for rebounds by the Junior Canadians. And that seems to be what the Junior Canadians are looking for so far, the tips, the rebounds. They're really getting in the blue paint here. 5.38 here left in the first period with Graziano with it. Graziano at the point, gives it to Romano. Here's Romano a shot, tries to go for the top left corner, but Reed Strauss stood strong there. Here's Romano, gives it to Graziano, back to Romano. He had O'Brien open, but O'Brien didn't receive the pass the way he intended, and he's gonna go for a skate with it. O'Brien gives it up here, and here comes Martin the other way. Martin tries to cut to the middle here. Tries a shot, but the puck gets lost in his skates. And here's Martin again. What an individual effort there for, by Martin. Yeah, there's one player you don't want to give the puck away too short-handed. It's Brady Martin here. Uh, it's just some magic in the offensive zone, evading junior Canadians, checkers, and uh, it took a nice poke check from Nico Armelin to uh, stop him. Yeah, it shows that Martin j doesn't just play offensively, but he's good on the penalty kill. He can play well defensively. He's really a Swiss Army knife of a player. Here's Vandenberg. A shot there and a good stop there by Nico Armelin, and it is now a Waterloo Wolves power play for a minute 45 here. It'll be interesting to see if the Wolves can take advantage now that they've got some chances to get some sustained offensive zone pressure going. Crucial power play for them if they want to tie up this game. And it's going to be Henderson to take the draw. And the Wolves control off the draw. There's Basil with it. Here's Basil at the point. Henderson tries to make a move, but some good defense there by the junior Canadians, and they get it out. And Basil has to regroup here. Drops it back for Silo Giannis. And here comes Henderson taken to the boards by Michael Levine. And the Wolves will try again here, less than a minute to go in their power play. It's a penalty against Evan Malkazian. Well, so far this has been a really good penalty kill for the Junior Canadians. They're using their physicality to get in front of players, uh, cut off passes, uh, really not let the Wolves get too much set up in the offensive zone. With 53 seconds to go here for the Wolves to try to tie this up in the semifinals. The first of two semifinal games that will be played here. And here comes Romano on the shorthanded, on the uh, down a man. And here's Romano with it again, just killing off some much needed time. Thirty seconds to go here for the Wolves. And the play is broken up again by the Junior Canadians. Luca Graziano loses his stick in the neutral zone. And here comes Martin, who collides with his own teammate. But Martin continues with it. Taken to the corner by Graziano. Five seconds here in the power play left. And Evan Malkazian is back on the ice, and we're back to even strength. 
With 2.15 left to go in the first period, Junior Canadians leading this game one to nothing. If Waterloo wants to be able to get capitalize on their power play, they're definitely going to need to get something more going. The Junior Canadians did a great job of shutting them down on that penalty kill. A lot of active sticks from the Junior Canadians there. As Ethan Armstrong has the puck in the corner. And here's Luca Murano with it, with Jin Man. Tries a shot, and here's Wang with it. Tries a wraparound, and play is called again. These lines have been rolling for JRC. And it looks like there's going to be a face-off here to the right of Reed Strauss. Nico Addy, Martel, and Yanni here to take the draw. Josh Frey to take it for the Waterloo Wolves. The referees are having a discussion about something. We're not sure, quite sure what it is. Look, the looks like there's a discussion involving the Junior Canadians bench. Oh, and a penalty has just been put up on the screen, on the scoreboard. Again to Evan Malkazian. The Junior Canadians seem really confused. I would be too if I were them. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Wonder if it's a too many men call. Yeah, and it looks like it will be another Wolves power play. Uh, or, oh, he left the box early is what we've been told. Oh, I see. So the Wolves will actually get a two minute and two second power play because Malkazian left the penalty box early. You don't see that too often. Definitely not. Well, the Wolves get a blessing in disguise here. Yeah, it's a, power play. it's a big opportunity. Hopefully they can capitalize on it. And here's Gerber with it. With Solomon. Solomon at the point. Back to Gerber. Here's Gerber. Tries a pass. And tries a shot short side. But Nico Armellon has an answer for that. And a giveaway here and a shot. What a chance by Luca Morano. Yeah, Sorry, he, Luca Romano. He was just uh, absolutely robbed on the doorstep by Reed Strauss. That was pretty incredible. Oh. And, then, and it's going to be some four on four action as Strauss gloves that down. But. A great chance right in front of Strauss earlier from Luca Romano. But Strauss has been at, he's had a good game. The one goal that he's allowed was a tip that he had no chance on. So, Yeah, both goaltenders have been excellent for their teams in this period. 45 seconds here in the first. As Graziano has it. And he's going to take it himself into the offensive zone. Big hit there from Derrigan, but Graziano is able to keep it alive. Some help from Chase Yanni, being hounded by Brady Martin. And here's Michael Levine with it, with Luca Romano in the corner. Levine. Gives it to Yanni, and here's Yanni. One more chance to go here. Tries a backhand. 1.4 seconds left on the clock. Strauss stops that one. Looks like the Nets become dislodged uh, with uh, just a second to go before the period ends. So uh, one last chance for the Junior Canadians to and a, strike. An eventful first period for sure. It's going to be Nico Addy to take the draw as the Canadians try to get one last chance here. Min uh, a second, 1.4 seconds left. Oh, and that 